Hello folks, and welcome to part 25 of the Platformer 2D tutorial. In this one, we are probably going to do some uh, saving and loading for the scores between the levels. So, let's just play and see what happens when we go to another level, what happens to the points. Let's collect some points by killing this turret, and we got 16. And now we want to continue our journey and go into another level. Uh, but when we do that, we lose our points. And we don't want that to happen. So, well, at least that uh, is what you requested. So, let's do some saving points between levels. So, the way we're going to do this is basically by using something called player prefs which is a function in Unity that I've talked about in another video, which is going to pop up on the screen now. Click to watch it. Uh, you're going to learn uh, most things about player prefs, so you know how to save values and load values, uh, which is the thing that it does. So yeah, let's get started. Um, uh, we want to save our points whenever we enter uh, a new level and we enter a new level when we press E on the door so let's go into our door script uh, yeah what is it here it is um, so on trigger enter we say if we press E then load another level and just right before here we want to save our points uh, or our score which is in our game master, uh, I think I renamed this from points to score. Uh, you don't have to do that. It's just it's it makes more sense to me. Uh, well, so the way we're going to do this, we're going to call a function called save score, which I accidentally created there, uh, and then it's going to be called save save score. Okay, and the thing that we're going to put in there is uh, basically uh, this. So the way player press works, uh, if I can get the... Oh, well guys, uh, my autocomplete didn't work, so I just had to restart uh, Visual Studio. So the way we're going to do this is by using player prefs that I told you about before. So it's basically called player prefs and... We're going to use the call the function of player prefs, which is called set int. So basically saving an integer, uh, which is the score in here in our game master, which we are reference, referencing, referring, which we are referencing to uh, through here. So we want to set the int and it has to have a key so we can identify it and load it. And that key is probably going to be score, which makes most sense. And then we have to assign a value. Um, and the value is going to be our score. So that's going to be gm.score. Okay, so... We have referenced our GM right here, and we are getting the score value from the script. And the GM, or the Game Master, script is assigned to our Game Master object, with, which has the tag that we are finding through the script. Nice. So, uh, we just need to call this function, and we're just going to do that right before we load the level when we are pressing E. So just copy and paste save score and make sure there's these brackets and a semicolon. Then we're calling this function and saving our score. Nice. So now I guess we have to load the score between levels. And actually make sure that uh, in your second scene, uh, when whatever scene you are loading, that there is a game master. Uh, all the same stuff that is here, you know, everything, the UI and stuff, just so everything 
works right. So just make sure the game master is there, our score is there, and the canvas, and yeah, you know. Ah, uh, do we need anything here? No, we don't. Ah, uh, well, let's continue. So in our game master, we want to assign the score that we saved here to the score here. Okay, and I guess on the first level we want to uh, reset the score so it is zero. So we're going to do that by checking. Uh, first, we'll check if player prefs dot has key. So this is just to check if we have saved before. Okay, so if it has the key uh, called what should I, uh, score. So if it has the key score, and if application dot loaded level is equals to zero, so the start level, uh, which is you know the first level of your game, which you can see here, main testing round, which should be scene one, is the you know the first scene. So if we are at the first level, we don't want to. Uh, what is it called? Load the actual score from the last uh, game we took. Okay, so we would we just want to say player prefs the delete key. So we want to delete the score because we want to reset when we are starting from the first level, and we just want to set the score to zero. I don't think we have to do that, but let's do that. And else, if it isn't the first level, we just want to assign the score to the score right here. So the way we're going to do that is by saying score will be equals to player prefs dot get int. So we get the int, and that will take a string, which is the key, which is score. So we're going to get our score here. Good. So let's test if this works. So let's uh, fire up the main scene here and go through the level. Here we go. Collect some coins, kill some turrets, and walk to our door, E to enter. Come on, please going on here nice okay so it worked now we have all points right here and it is reset and when we start over uh, it will be reset to zero which is nice here we go okay so actually you might want to have high scores in your game so hmm I'm just going to show you how to do that. Uh, I'm not going to show you anything visual, I guess. You can do that, but uh, I think you can figure it out. But let's see, we need another variable. Let's call this public int, public with a weird i, int high score. And that will be to zero. Hmm. What do we want to say here? Uh, basically, I guess the high score win will be set whenever we die, whenever our character dies. So, yeah, let's find the script for our character. Where is it? It is player. Okay, so whenever we die, we want to assign a new. I'll set a new value, which is the high score is instead of the score. And let's see. Okay, where do we die? I, not here, here. Good. So we want to set a new high score, and we want to check if we got high score, of course. Uh, so the way we're going to do this is first off, I guess we have to check if we even have a high score. Uh, 
no, not get uh, that has key. And that key is going to be high school. So if there is a high school, then we want to check if the high school that we have now is less or yeah is less than the score that we got when we died. And if it is uh, lower the high score than we got the score for that run, we will assign a new high score, which is the score that we got. It sounds complicated, but it isn't. Ah, uh, uh, let's check. If a uh, player press dot get int high score, if that is less than the current score that we got, gm dot score, then we want to assign a new high score. And we basically do that by saying player prefs dot set int high score uh, and we're going to set that to the gm dot score because that is bigger than the high score uh, but if we don't have any high score then we just want to do the same but we don't have to check good so now i think that works <laughs> Yeah, let's see. We set it right here. Let's go into the game master and yeah, let's just check the high score if it works. Oh well, I guess when we when we load here, we want to check again if we have we want to assign the actual high score to the value so we can check if if it works. Uh, so if player refs dot has key high score then we want to assign it to our high score so high score will be equals to player press dot get int high score nice so let's check I'm doing this on the fly so well let's check if that works hmm very interesting. So let's click on the game master high score zero, and let's jump around. We collect some coins. Good. We have six points. Let me just minimize it. Let me put it here. Yeah, better place. Uh, our score is six, and let's get killed by this guy here. Let's see what the high score becomes. Our high score is 6, so it works. Nice! So you can use that for visual things, so you can uh, get this uh, int wherever. Uh, in a menu or something. In a high score menu that we could create, so we can load that and display it. So, well, now we have created some high score things. Hmm. Let's just check one last time. So 0 0.6 and let's get a higher score than before. So we have to get all the coins and kill this guy and jump down on the spikes and see if everything works. Good. It was 16 and our high score is 16. Awesome. And well, did I explain this here? If you want to uh, delete the high score, you can say uh, somewhere. Don't do it here because then it won't work. But you could say uh, player press dot delete key, you know, and that should be high score, just as we did here. Uh, just make a button somewhere if you want to do so you can wipe the high score. Totally up to you. Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if it was, like. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, have a great evening. Uh, day or morning and see you later. Bye guys. <laughs>